These are images that may look normal, but when you dig a little deeper have really disturbing backstories. So let's count down 5 chilling photos with disturbing backstories. Number 5. Landsberg was an avid photographer at the time of his death. He was especially enamoured with Washington State's Mount St. Helens. On May the 18th, 1980, Landsberg just happened to be right near the base of Mount St. Helens when the mountain erupted, causing the single biggest volcanic event in the United States since 1915. Because of his proximity to the eruption, Landsberg did not survive, but he managed to capture this photograph of the beginning of the eruption just before his death. Number 4. Known as the Face in the Window, the mysterious face staring out of Pickens County Courthouse in Alabama is one of Alabama's best known ghosts. The story revolves around a former slave named Henry Wells. Legend holds that he was accused of burning the courthouse to ashes. Arrested but pursued by a mob, Wells is said to have fled to hide in the attic of the third courthouse, which was under construction. As the angry mob searched for him, Wells peered out of a window to watch. To his shock, lightning struck him at that very moment, and forever etched his face on the window. It's widely believed to this day that the ghostly face of Henry Wells continues to peer down from the courthouse window. Number 3. Michael was 18 years old and from San Diego. On August the 20th, 1975, he went on a hiking trip to California's Sequoia National Park, along with his brother Sean and his sister Mary. As Michael's sister Mary was taking this picture, the weather got worse and their hair started standing on end, which they did not realise was a sign that lightning was about to hit. Seconds after taking this picture, a lightning bolt struck them. Sean was knocked unconscious and suffered third degree burns. He died committing suicide in 1989. Michael was knocked onto the ground but survived. At least three people were hit directly that day by the lightning bolt, also injuring many others, and one man even died. Number 2. Robert Bud Dwyer was a Republican state senator in Pennsylvania from 1971 until 1981. Then from 1981 until January 1987, Dwyer served as treasurer of Pennsylvania. On that fateful day, Dwyer called a press conference in the state capitol, and then shot himself in front of the gathering of reporters. His suicide, contrary to belief, was not broadcast live. A number of television stations throughout Pennsylvania broadcast taped footage of Dwyer's suicide to a midday audience. Dwyer died instantly from the gunshot. Number 1. Gilliams and her friend Brenda Vega were hiking through the wilderness in Santa Barbara County, California. While they were hiking, the path they had chosen was not clearly marked. Gilliams landed badly when jumping off a rock, fracturing her leg. When Vega tried to carry Gilliams, he fell, shattering his glasses, breaking his elbow and breaking her ankle. Gilliams stayed put while Vega went to get help. That was the last time she saw him. Three hikers approached the area. One of them saw a flame of red hair out of the corner of her eye, then saw it move. Gilliams was airlifted to Cottage Hospital. Two days later, she had learned that Vega had been found dead most likely from falling as he went to find help. So that was 5 chilling photos with disturbing backstories. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.